Hello everyone, this is ML Naruto. Welcome to my channel. So today I'll be teaching you the concepts of statistics. So earlier I have already explained a basic introduction about what is meant by statistics and what are all the things involved and what is the connection between the statistics and the business analytics. So now in this video, I'll be starting this tutorial of statistics in which now I'll explain today uh, what is meant by the statistics here and what is in the statistics what is meant by the descriptive statistics okay and then I'll be explaining what is meant by inferential statistics okay and now the fourth one is what is mean by a population And the fifth one is, what is meant by a sample? Okay. So, now in this video, I'll teach all these concepts in a while. So, okay. So, yeah, let's start. The first one is, what is meant by a statistic? So, the first heading would be, what is meant by a statistic here? So, what is meant by statistics here? Statistics, uh, if I ask this question, some people will say uh, some kind of numbers. They, they say like uh, these are nothing, but statistics is nothing but some kind of numbers, right? For example, today, uh, some, let's imagine some, uh, this is just an example, okay? So some hundred, some hundred people have born, okay? Some hundred babies have already born today. And some maybe two people have died. Okay, unfortunately. So what are all these things here? So this hundred is actually explaining hundred babies have already born today. Right. And now this number that is the two here is actually explaining that two people have already died today. So these numbers, right? So this 100 and this 2 is actually nothing but the statistics here, right? So this is one, one of a kind of uh, definition. And now if I want to explain this particular thing in a more detailed manner, so I can easily define this particular term that is the statistics as it is a method, right? So this is nothing but a method. What is this method is usually doing? So this method, using this method, we can, using this method, we can explain, okay? And we can also, using this method, we can also understand. Using this method, we can also interpret, right? So using this method, we can explain, understand, interpret, but what? What we can, I mean, what do we explain? What do we understand? What do we interpret? Answer for all these three questions is simple data. Okay. So, using this particular method that is the statistics, we usually explain data, we usually understand the data, and we usually interpret the data. Right? So, actually, Using this particular method that is the statistics, we used to understand data, we used to explain the data, and then we used to interpret the uh, essence of the data, right? So this is the thing here. Now, uh, the first one has uh, finished right now. Now let's move on to this uh, second one that is the descriptive here. So what is meant by the descriptive part and the inferential part here? So what, so I'll be keeping this heading like descriptive here. That is the descriptive statistics. And now I'll be keeping the heading here, the inferential part here, right? So this is the inferential statistics and this is the descriptive statistics. So what is the basic difference between these two? So I'm drawing a straight line here. So which differs these two? So I'll be explaining all the things uh, in a sequential manner, in a step-by-step -step manner, okay? The first major difference is what, the definition here. What is the definition of the descriptive statistics here, right? So I'm 
see this is the statistics in statistics we have two types that is the descriptive statistics and the another one is inferential statistics right so what is mean by the uh, what is the actual definition of this descriptive statistics if you ask me this question i'll usually say descriptive statistics is nothing but the it's a it's it's nothing but the organizing right using descriptive statistics we usually in the descriptive statistics we usually organize and we summarize right we organize and summarize the data right so in the descriptive statistics part we usually do this kind of thing we organize the data right and we summarize the data okay that is we collect the data and uh, group it together uh, not exactly collecting we can uh, call it as uh, organizing means we can just uh, uh, group it together uh, using any kind of uh, tabular format or any pie chart or something right and we usually summarize the data right uh, what do you mean by the summarizing here uh, like uh, okay for example i have uh, some uh, i have some uh, students in the class okay this is just an example okay this is just an example i'll erase it after that okay this is my class and i have one student okay i have another i have another so likewise i'll have some i have some uh, six students in total okay so six students this particular student favorite color right this particular student favorite color is orange that is uh, o okay and this particular uh, student favorite color is blue and this particular student favorite color is blue this particular student favorite color is orange and this particular student favorite color is blue and for him the favorite color is orange right so just just see here it is also a data but it's not grouped together right it's not uh, present in a uh, well structured format it's just an unstructured kind of a data so if you want me to structure this kind of data right if i if you want me to arrange this particular data how can i arrange this kind of a thing i usually say uh, i usually say like uh, the colors i'll keep this heading that is the colors and out of colors in, in this in the color section the color field i usually keep the two headings that is the orange and the another one is the blue here right so i'll count the persons here so for orange we have one two three total three persons are actually liking the color orange and in total three persons are actually uh, liking the color blue one two three right so this is the three here right okay so this would be my structured way of data so in simply in a simple manner you can also call it as a summarize right summarize the data right so uh, this is also a way of representing the data and this is also a way of representing the data but this uh, you can easily uh, figure out uh, what is the total persons i mean you see here here i can put a column that is the total here so in the total section i'll say 3 and in the total section i'll say 3 right so this is nothing but a, this is nothing but a summarizing the data right so this is just an example okay so i'm erasing it okay so the definition of this descriptive statistics would be organize and summarize the data okay and now just uh, go to this uh, inferential statistic definition so what is the uh, definition of the inferential statistics here so it is here we collect the data so here it is nothing but a data collection. We collect data or you can call it as data collection. What kind of data here? We we used to do data collection on sample. Okay. We usually collect the sample data here. That means, okay. And, and we make, and we make estimates. 
and we make estimates on the population here. Right. We usually make estimates on the population here. And uh, after making some kind of estimates on the population, so what does this mean actually? See, this particular point, that is the data collection on the sample, you have already understood. That is, we usually collect some sample data, right? Uh, for example, this is the population, right? This is some kind of, uh, this is the country, India, let's imagine, okay? And now, out of this entire country, I'm collecting some kind of sample. So, this is my sample part, and this represents the entire population. So, pop, pop, the India would be my population here. And this particular uh, small area would be my uh, my interest. For example, uh, this sample is related to maybe the people who are actually using the Android phones. Okay, Android phones. So Android phones. This is my sample data here. So this is the sample one. And now this in this entire India is nothing but the population here, right? So. What we do, what do we do usually in inferential statistics? We used to collect the sample data and then we make estimates on the population. That means after collecting this particular sample data, uh, we do, we perform some kind of analysis, uh, statistical tests, uh, and we draw conclusions about this particular population, right? For example, if I found uh, uh, this sample data is nothing but in total, maybe there are 100 people in this particular sample, right? And if I found, uh, if I find some 70 people are actually, 70 people are actually happy, okay? These are the happy faces using Android phones, okay? And only 30 people are actually very sad uh, regarding the experience of the Android phones, right? So what I can infer here, what I can draw some kind of insights here. So I can usually say that a majority of the people are actually happy using Android phones, right? So if I say this, what does it mean actually? See here, the population of the entire India would be around uh, maybe approximately uh, 130 plus crores, right? So out of 130 uh, crore plus population, I'm just taking 100 members as a sample here. So in this sample, out of this 100 persons, uh, majority, that is the 70 people are actually happy with the product that is the Android here. So uh, I have got to know that 70 per... Okay. See here, uh, the, it's it's a small kind of interruption. Uh, that's a network issue. So yeah, just just focus on here. Just focus here. See what I'm trying to say is, out of hundred people, I found that seventy per seventy people, that is seventy percent are actually happy with the Android. So this is my finding here, right? So this is my insight here. So I'm applying this particular insight of sample. To the entire population so i have only taken 100 people but i'm applying this particular insight to the all over india so i'm saying about 70 percent of the indian population is actually happy is actually happy with the android phones so this is nothing this is the meaning of this particular statement that is making estimates on the population that is whatever we find uh, uh, regarding the sample we usually uh, apply that to the entire population. So that's the thing here, okay? Okay. Huh. So now, let me draw my line. Okay. <clears throat> so now, the second thing. Oh, sorry, this is not finished here. So after making the estimates on the population, uh, we usually performs, okay, we usually performs um, some kind of uh, statistical, 
statistical tests okay on the sample on sample we usually perform some kind of statistical tests on sample and then we find the insights here and then we apply we apply those insights those insights to the entire population okay to the entire population we we usually apply this particular findings that is the insights here right so now this is the definition of the inferential statistics and this is the definition for the descriptive statistics now enough of this uh, definitions now uh, what does it contain actually so what are all the key uh, key items that contain uh, i mean a descriptive statistics contain okay so in the descriptive statistics we usually have two things the one uh, one is two measures the first one is measure of central tendency okay the first one is measures of measure of central tendency inside this particular topic we have three elements that is mean the second one is median and the third one is mode right <clears throat> the third one is mode so in short you can call these three things as averages right you can in short you can call these three things as averages okay now this is one one of a kind of uh, measure right that is the measure of central tendency okay and the third measure is uh, and the second measure is that is the measure of measure of dispersion you can call this as measure of dispersion in this particular subtopic we have two elements that the first one is the variance okay and the second one is the standard deviation right so these are the two things that are involved in this measures of dispersion and these are the three things that is mean median mode are the uh, uh, three things in commonly we can call them as averages uh, that are involved in measures of central tendency so by this we came to end of descriptive statistics okay and now when i want to uh, extend the topic of inferential statistics so the key things involved here in the inferential statistics is parameters and the test statistics okay and the third one is estimation and the fourth one is the hypothesis testing right so don't worry if you don't know all these concepts just don't worry just follow my playlist of uh, statistics okay so you will slowly uh, get to know all these concepts uh, step by step right so this is just a beginning so uh, in brief i'm just uh, telling i'm just saying all the things that are involved in this particular subtopic like inferential statistics and these are all the things that are involved inside this topic descriptive statistics right so this is not the end this is just a beginning and after in the later videos i'll be explaining what are all the things okay so this is uh, this is a, a basic introduction about the descriptive statistics and this is uh, the introduction about the inferential statistics okay and now we came to end of another topic that is the descriptive statistics and inferential statistics now i want to explain what is meant by population and sample here right so i want to i want to clearly make a difference between the population and sample here right 
So I'm again dividing my screen into two parts that is the population lies here and my sample lies here. Okay. So I'm making some partition here. Okay. So now, <clears throat> so what is meant by population here? Earlier I have already told you, for example, just imagine this is, this is the USA. Okay. This is the USA. Let's imagine this is the USA. Uh, this is my population. And I want to perform some kind of test on USA. Right. For example, I want to know uh, uh, my, my objective, my goal is to find the find people with the GC, that is green card. Okay. I want to know how many people are actually having green card in USA. Right. So I want to know this thing. So for that, I have selected one kind of an area. This is the location that I want to perform my test, right? So this is my test here. Finding people with green card is my goal or a test. So I have chosen this particular uh, location to perform this kind of test. So this would be my population here, right? So uh, if you want to, if you want me to frame a definition for this particular population, so I can easily say that, uh, a population would be my entire group. Okay. Entire group of people. The population would be my group of people or they may be my group of things. They may be etc. In which I am interested to study. Okay. These are all the groups of people or the things or etc. In which I am really interested to study. Okay. I am really interested to uh, conduct this kind of a test here so that that becomes my population here, right so now let's come to the sample here so what is the sample here see here i want to i want to conduct this particular test that is finding people with gc that is green card okay so i have chosen this particular location that is usa so, so it becomes it usually becomes population so in the entire usa i can't just go to the each one and ask the opinion. I mean, do you have any green card with you or do you have any so-and-so uh, with you? I just can't do that. Why? Because the population would be in maybe in, uh, I mean, tens and hundreds of thousands of millions, right? So I can't just go to the uh, each person's house and I just can't ask. So for that, the simple alternative solution is nothing but just select a... Uh, I mean, some very limited number of people. For example, in the entire USA population, I'm just selecting some 10,000 people. Okay. I have selected some 10,000 uh, USA people. Okay. So now, it would be easy for me to conduct this kind of a test. So I, I'll go to 10,000 people's house and I'll just simply ask them, do you have any GC with you or not? Do you have any green card with you or not? I'll ask them. Now, depending upon the answer, I may find some kind of uh, insights for my uh, goal or my test, right? So maybe some people say yes and some people say no, I don't have GC. So let's imagine uh, some maybe 69% of people has said yes, okay? And the remaining and the rest people, the rest of the people has said no. Okay. So, I can easily say that majority of the people are actually having green card. 69%. Okay. So, what I can do, uh, this particular 10,000 would be my sample here. Why? Because this 10,000 will usually represent this particular entire USA population. Right. So, 10,000 will usually becomes my population, right? Uh, sorry, sample. 10,000 would be my sample and uh, this particular entire nation, that is USA, would be my population. Okay. So, for this, if you want me to ask, uh, how do you define this particular sample in a formal textbook kind of a definition? So, I'll usually say that it's a subset of a 
it's a subset of the population here right it represents the entire population it represents entire population okay so now these are the definitions here but this involves another uh, kind of a thing that is the parameter here so what is mean by a parameter so this parameter usually describes the entire population okay it usually describes the entire population and now here it involves uh, another kind of thing that is no nothing but a statistic here see just observe the definitions here statistics is different statistic is different okay this is the test statistic in shortly you can also call it as stat statistic right so the you can call it as a test statistic or you can also call it as a statistic it's up to you totally okay so what is meant by statistic here it is also a measure this also describes the sample here right for example i said uh, some maybe i'm just saying this as an example okay some mm, okay so the let's imagine the us population would be uh, maybe some uh, let's imagine this 100 crore okay 100 crore is the population of usa right so this particular number that is the 100 100 crore okay is actually representing the entire population it's actually describing the entire population right so here 100 crore and uh, these are actually saying usa right this particular usa is nothing but a parameter why right? because these uh, this 100 crore is actually saying that we are we, this 100 crore is actually belong to this particular location that is usa right so these are my parameters here and now what do you mean by statistic here I'm, I'm taking some sample uh, from the overall uh, 100 crore population. For example, I'm taking some uh, 10. Okay, I'm, I'm choosing some 10 USA people. So this particular 10 USA people will usually becomes my statistic here. Why? Because this number, that is the 10 number here, usually is explaining that this is a sample which has been taken from my entire population that is uh, entire population usa right right this is uh, did you get that statistic is nothing but a 10 here this number 10 is usually uh, representing the sample here right so and where from where do we uh, where do we take the sample here the sample has been taken from the population here right so I'll, I'll say clearly, don't worry, I'll just explain in a more clear manner. For example, you have uh, for example, you have the Britannia, okay. You have the Britannia, okay. Now, out of this Britannia, we have, uh, in Britannia brand, we have a lot more uh, uh, kind of uh, chocolates and uh, see here we have chocolates and we have biscuits etc right so in the entire britannia population i'm just choosing the chocolates here so let's imagine chocolates are of 100 and biscuits are of 200 okay let's imagine this as a uh, partition here right so and the entire population would be my uh, let's imagine maybe uh maybe 15000 okay out of this 15 out of this 15000 i'm just taking 100 chocos and 200 biscuits okay this would be my sample here right and this would be my population here now here this particular 15000 is nothing but a parameter why because this number is usually describing the population here now this particular 100 is nothing but a statistic. Why? Because this particular number is usually describing my sample here, right? 
and now this particular 200 is nothing but a statistic here why because this particular number is usually describing uh, is usually describing this particular number is usually describing my sample here did you get that so yeah that's it so now by this we have already uh, come to an end of all the topics here that is we ha I have already explained what is meant by statistic and then I have already explained uh, what are all the subcontents involved in the statistics that is descriptive and the inferential part uh, here and then I have already taken some real good examples uh, to explain the topics population sample so by this we have come to an end so in the next video I'll be explaining the other uh, different topics here okay so yeah that's all for this uh, if you like the content just uh, share with your friends okay don't forget to like bye bye take care good night jai hind